I hear you. <laughs> Blood red moss clump. Cool. Ow. I'm doing very poorly right now. And ba! So I normally like to use miracles because Estus Flask is kind of, in my opinion, for more emergency healing. How did that miss? It's right there. Ow. There. A buffer. Blooming. Now, you really want to come over here and farm these guys if you want to get some moss clumps. Simply because if you get the moss clumps, that would be good. Oh yeah, and then it's behind this illusory wall. Bop. Now, this I kindled all the way to 20 because I was actually PvPing around this area, to be honest. Yes, I did some PvP. Yes, I do PvP. Well, I mean... It, I always try to PvP where possible because... Again, where do you, where and how do you learn how to fight better? You fight players, because most likely these players have already figured out every cheese strategy possible. So, how do you learn how to fight against the cheese? Simple. You go against players. Now, I know a lot of players actually don't like that kind of mentality because they're like, Oh, well, they just use the cheese all day. Personally, I adapt. Get out of here. Fake tree. I will adapt. Oh yeah, it's the frog manta ray thing. Get out. Wait, what did it have? Yeah. Green blossom. Huh. Alright. Come here, you. To be honest, that actually took me a while to figure out. And also, if I remember right, those trees can actually deal damage to you if you leave them alone long enough. It's the weirdest thing, I know. How does a tree monster deal damage to you? Well, the same reason as the bush monsters. Okay, you gotta die first. Wow. I completely two shot it. Alright, I'm fine with that. Yeah, that item. Yeah, green blossom. Well, I guess this means that they're not really a threat anymore. I honestly question the design of the frogs. Soul of a Proud Knight. Alright. So, yeah. Like I was saying, I do PvP, so it's really interesting to me sometimes that you can actually fight other players and just learn how to actually fight better because some players well to be honest you always think that everybody always happens to think that they're the best but there's always someone going to be better or someone who's going to be able to beat you no matter how you do it no matter what you do someone is going to be able to beat you some people prefer to do just the cheesiest things to be able to beat someone but you know me I only do so if I have to Otherwise, I try to fight with honor, like, a, you know, one versus one. Like, hmm, okay. Hmm, how do I beat this player? He's really good at parrying. So this means that I'm going to have to adjust my strategy into a, something diff really different. So that way, I can counter him as he tries to counter me. If that makes any sense. Because, you know, I'm a little bit of a strategist myself. What can I say? I just don't want, you know, it's not that I have to be the best. It's that I want to constantly strive to improve. Because I never really think of myself as the best player. And I don't want to be the best player because I don't care to be the best player. I care about one thing and just basically, well, being incredibly good at the game. I don't have to be the best. But I know I'm not the worst. If that makes any sense. Because I know a lot of players always have, tend to think I'm this one man, big ass, 
you know, I'm basically Mr. Big Man on campus. I'm Mr. Unbeatable. Professional game, you know, eSports, me. That's me right there, eSports. I'm, I am eSports. Yeah, okay. Comes over there, smacks him around. Uh, you're a loser. That is basically the gamer logic right there. If I win, he sucks. If I lose, he has no life. Am I wrong, though? Am I wrong? I hear you. Go away. Wait, hang on a second. Okay, yeah. I had to make sure I'm recording here. So, yeah. It's always just the most fascinating thing to see players with that actual kind of mentality. You think that they're the best player in the world, and yet you just come over, smack them around, and it's like... And usually they have this excuse, like, where was everyone? What do you mean, where was everyone? Who... Who are you talking about? Everyone. Last I checked, you constantly thought that you could win, and yet you're over here like, where was everyone? How did that miss? How did that miss? I don't know how that missed, but okay. Uh-uh. Go away. Ow! Oh, heal. Oh, that was, uh, needed. Alright, seriously? You're pissing me off. Now, if I remember right, that miracle is actually pretty overpowered. It doesn't last very long, but it is very strong against players. Especially more mobile players who try to roll in behind you and try and get your backstab. Problem is, this miracle takes forever to get off. So it generally just becomes not worth it. But if you can... It can be good if you like to be, you know, one of those players who's just like the gang players. In which case, all you have to do is just kind of... Elite Knight. Okay. That's all you have to do is just one of you has to have that spell, use it, and then basically you just lock down the invader for good, and now they're probably going to die. That's usually how it is. Magic ahead. Oh. Oh. Hey. Ah, eh, whatever. I don't need her. Well, we all know what time it is. Alright, let's get in there. Let's start fighting the Moonlight Butterfly. Where is it? There you are. This time I brought magic. And it missed completely. Oh, probably because it was still doing its animation, so it had an invulnerability frame. Alright. Ow. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I don't have to take this. There. Thanks, Havel. This fight feels so much less dragged out when I can actually smack it around from a range. But of course, that's why they give you Witch Beatrice at the very bottom, but, you know, I don't need her. Alright. Humanity! 40,000 souls, not bad. Wait a minute. Oh, ow, that's why. I still had the rusted iron ring on. Damn it, I forgot to replace it. Alright, let's go grab this. Watchtower basement key. Oh, so that's how you get to Havel without having to use the master key. And a divine ember and a homeward bone. Great. So now we should probably just use a homeward bone and get out of here. Where is it? There we go. 